Hi, welcome back to the show. Summer vacations in Alaska are the best. The scenery in the 49th state is gorgeous and unforgettable. Here, the eagles and the whales and the otters put on a show every day. And when it comes to fishing, well, when you look back at your photos, chances are most of your favorite pictures will include you and your friends showing off the catch of the day. On our recent visit to El Capitan Lodge, however, many of the pictures we came back with included snapshots of the first-class gourmet meals served in the lodge dining room. The impressive menu at the El Capitan Lodge is orchestrated by this man, Chef Jeremy Jones. Chef Jeremy, how's it going? Uh, not too bad. We're going to go uh, shrimping. Going to go get tonight's, tonight's dinner. Terrific. Right. I mean, it doesn't get much fresher than that, huh? Uh, no, straight, straight from the ocean to the table. Uh, we got uh, shrimp and fettuccine we're going to prepare tonight. Well, let's go get them. Yeah. this for convenience, folks. Fresh shrimp for the taking is only a 20-minute boat ride away. We got some cooner shrimp and some spotted prawns in here. So that's a cooner shrimp? Yes. Are they good eating? Oh yeah, very good. Spotted prawn. Oh, those look good, huh? Oh yeah, nice big tails on these guys. <laughs> How many traps we got out there? Oh, uh, we've got four. The chef's gonna be very busy. <laughs> nice. That's what we want the pasta to look like. Yeah. Captain, what you got there? Uh, some kind of crab. I'm not really positive what it is. Uh, Can we see the top of it? Yeah. Is he gonna bite you? Oops. Yeah, he's too oh, small. He's pretty. To hurt. Yeah, it looks like a baby king crab, doesn't it? We have tanners in this area too. Um, king uh -huh. crab aren't plentiful, but they kind of migrate through the area. I guess he goes back, huh? Yep. Aloha. Yep. Not a keeper. He won't let go. This oh, popcorn shrimp. What is this? You know the popcorn shrimp you buy in the popcorn shrimp tails? Yes. That's it. Wow. Yeah. That's, right. That's a keeper? You know. Tell you what, if you think catching shrimp was fun, it doesn't even compare to the fun you'll have when you get back for the chef's preparation of dinner at the lodge. But if your idea of a classic Alaskan meal includes king salmon, well, you'll have to work a little harder at it than just pulling up a shrimp pot. So, let's do it. Hanapa, here we go. Go get them, Kent. Oh, I thought I heard this charging a boat for a while. Yeah. And he decided to start a boat and he started running down. Straight up, just straight up. <laughs> yeah, right on, man. Finally 
Big one, too. Good going, guys. But the best part is yet to come. Let's get this fish back to the chef. None of us is going to go hungry tonight. Folks, don't go away. Much more on the fishing show right after you catch this. Hi, welcome back to the show. When Hawaii gets hot in the summer, we like to go looking for a cool time in Alaska. And you know, few things are cooler than this. Taking a plane ride to go fishing. So, let's go find ourselves a pilot. Scott Van Valen, how you doing? Hey, good. Thank you for having us as guests here. It's beautiful, this place. You bet. I understand Hawaii ties. You've got a lot of them. Yep. Um, I've, I've been living there for 20 years and just winters only and uh, went to Parker School mm -hmm. on the Big Island. And my wife, uh, Nani's from Honolulu, who also, her family had uh, a lodge in Alaska as well. The average visitor, El Capitan, how many nights, how many days? Uh, average, the average trip here is three nights and three days of fishing. How many people stay at the lodge on, on one of these uh, visits? A uh, full group for us is 20 people per group. Mm -hmm. How big is your staff? Um, our staff size is about 22 this year. That's terrific. When the service outnumbers the guests, you know things are going to go well. Yep, yep. So Scott, beautiful day to day. What do you have planned for us? We're going to uh, go into a, a special lake that uh, has no road access. That's why we're going to be taking the plane. Not that plane, is it? That plane right there. That small plane? Yeah. You've been flying for more than a week? Um, yep. The landings are a little difficult. I'm still trying to figure those out, but we'll give it a try. Hey Scott, what's the name of this lake? Have you given it a name? Um, it's this lake's called Carta, and the one we're gonna fish above is called Salmon Lake. Nani's favorite place. Yes, it's the place we go every birthday. Scott, what a pretty place. Yep, it's awesome here. It's peaceful. Yeah. You lose track of time out here, I'm sure. Definitely. Yeah, if you just cast it out and then just give it quick like strips, they yeah. Anything quick. There we go. Hanapa. Scott, what you got there? Got a dolly on here. A what makes it a dolly? Can you show me that? These dollies have super bright fins on these, orange and with the white, white leading edges, and then uh, real bright orange dots. How big will they get in here? These things will get, uh, man, I'd say you could definitely find five pounders when the smolt's coming out wow. in the spring. Boy, this place has so much action. Ha, ha, ha. 
folks, a lot of people say thank you for this great time out here and the great plane ride, of course, Captain Scott from the El Capitan Lodge, Kent and Keith Nishoka. Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this.